Yeah, I think we should have got a point. I thought we had the clearer chances. Even we weren't good in the first half, but we still had some two really good opportunities to to punish them. Um, and then we started the second half well and we were on top and then we gave away the ball in a bad area, but we could have still defended that better. Then other than that, I think they had a, a, a chance or they didn't trouble us at all. And, and we got really on top of them for about 25 minutes. I thought we were good. Um, we started to... Uh, you know, pressure them in good areas. Uh, we played some really good football and, uh, and we created some good openings. So it's disappointing we come away with nothing. Pleased with the second half. Wasn't pleased with the first half. More the actual 50-50 balls. They were first to everything. They were getting all those 50-50 balls. And, and that's what really got them on top of us. Uh, still didn't, I don't think, um, our goalkeeper had to make a, a clear save. But they got on top of us in that first half. Yeah, I'm not sure about the handball, so it's a little bit difficult to, you know, that's, the referee made a decision and then VAR, I don't know if it was inside or outside, so would they, you know, accept that. They made a call on it, that's so, uh, sometimes they might go your way, sometimes they don't. Yeah, so that, that sometimes that's decision making. You know that uh, you know he's been uh, in normally in those positions. He'll, he'll pass the ball if he decides to shoot, and and sometimes you have to uh, say that he was confident enough to do it. Um, the better option now seeing it, yeah, he was to square the ball because we had two players free. It was it was a really good opening, um, and then the one that uh, Ibasuki had that he just took a bit too long. Um, he nearly. It walked the ball into the net in that first half. So, yeah, we, we had good chances. That's the disappointing thing because we felt in, in all three games that we've been really in the game, um, especially second halves, we're really uh, on top of the opposition. So to concede like we did it hurt us because I thought that we were the team that looked like winning. Um, and the other Yeah, frustrated with a few things, but um, no, nah, look, again, the, the, sometimes the frustration can come out. It, it was because I, I threw my bottle on the floor in frustration, that's why. He, he apologised to me after the game that he had to give me a yellow car for it. it. must be a rule you're not allowed to throw your water bottle, so... I was going to say, it's a bit harsh, I've said you may just throw the water yeah, bottle Yeah, yeah, <laughs> well, it is what it is. They were, look, credit to them, they were stopping the game quite a bit in that second half, and... That's you know they were able to do that. Would you have liked this game to have been at Tarnit? Yes, definitely. Hopefully in the future we'll be in Tarnit. Um, we weren't able to play there for a few reasons. I think the APL weren't uh, quite. Um, I wouldn't say happy, but they we didn't quite pass the criteria to play this game because it's another Melbourne side. So the Melbourne City and Melbourne Victory games will be here. Um, but hopefully for the next season, we're at a level that we can play all our games in Tarnit. What sort of difference do you think that could have made? I know it's like a yeah. 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 Well, I thought the crowd made some good noise tonight. I thought it was a pretty good turnout, considering what we were only able to advertise that we're playing here five days ago. Um, and I thought it was a good turnout. And yeah, if we had that in Tarnit, it would have given us another lift. But look, there's no excuse. We played here. We like playing here. The second half, we, we played well. Um, so, you know, there's no excuse there. We, we don't mind playing here. Yeah, then they brought on Lecky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then they brought on Cohen, their, their foreign player. Doesn't matter who's out there. Um, I thought that, you know, yes, Naboo was doing well, um, so was Tilio, but, um, you know, then they got players that can replace them. That's Melbourne City. But uh, I, I thought that we, we had enough opportunities to actually get something out of that. Yeah, Abel is, uh, we, we know the quality Abel has, and um, we just need to get Abel's fitness levels up. 
Um, we need to get him to a level that he can keep on doing that. There was a period there when he came on the first 10, 15 minutes, he was all over them and uh, creating that spark for us. And then uh, he fell away a little bit. And then he all of a sudden got a second win. Um, and then he went at them again. So if we can get that consistent, he's going to be a handful. Um, we know that because we know the quality he has. So hopefully we can. I thought Noel Botic did well when he came on as well. He, he gave us something. Um, his movement's good, um, held up the ball well. And then all of a sudden you're able to play out a little bit different. Um, and that's what we were able to find that player in that second half to play out. Yeah, he's getting closer. We have to also still be aware. His injury's fine. Everything else is fine. It's just that he's been out for six months without football. So we're, we're building him and he's coming along nicely. So uh, pleased um, that I think soon he will be able to start. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say snagged the win. I thought that against the Wanderers, we deserved the win. Um, against Wellington, I think that was pretty even, even though we finished the stronger. And tonight, I wouldn't say that we deserved the win. I'd say that we deserved more out of the game. Um, but we know, and you know, I haven't mentioned that we, we, we've got a very, very young team and we're competing really well. Like really well. Young Dylan Leonard was outstanding again tonight. Yeah, Shabiel Shamoon was outstanding again tonight, and they're both playing on the same side. Um, you know, first start for Reese Bosanowski this season. Um, you know, Oli Laval has been starting for us, so we're, we're matching it with the opposition that have got way more experience and uh, and you know a bit more of a balance than what we have. But we we know that we can compete. We know that these young boys are up to a level. You might get some inconsistencies within that because they're young, they can be inconsistent. But the, um, the ones that I mentioned, uh, especially uh, Charbel and uh, Dylan Leonard, uh, the last couple of games, they've been probably our best players. One of the major things of your last season was you know, performing well, but just not getting the results, not getting the results. How aware are you to just really make sure that that doesn't happen? Yeah, I, I thought tonight when we weren't at our best in that first half that we showed more resilience than what we have in the past. Um, and, and what I mean by that is that even though we weren't good, they weren't creating anything. So that's what we've shown you know, in the past, that if we can do that, then we'll get those wins. And, and I still believe that we'll end up getting those wins that, that, that we need. That I, I'm not, it's, a, it's a process still that we're building, yes, and we want to get results, yes, but I'm confident we will. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. I think they should all be fine. Hopefully, we get Benny Grucho back as well for the Adelaide game, and and then we'll go again. We uh, we know they're a good side. They're, it's always nice to play at Coopers, and um, hopefully, there'll be a good crowd, and we can uh, put on the performance and get the win that we want.